Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to the channel. As always, my name is Anton, and today we're going to be uh, revisiting our... Man, I, I love how every time I see a Eurythmics song, they literally put like Eurythmics, Annie Lennox, and Dave Stewart. And um, yeah, so obviously this is returning to both Annie Lennox and Eurythmics. And this is a big shout out to Melissa and Kelly for requ joint requesting this one. And this is Here Comes the Rain Again Remastered. And you guys know, probably Annie Lennox is one of my favorite artists we've done on the channel. Her voice is um one of a kind. Her, her whole kind of vibe, her whole artistic expression is incredibly unique so we'll see what this one does and before we get into it as always if you guys have any song quests for me and you want to vote on what artists kind of come on to the channel every single week like we actually did with annie lennox and eurythmics join everybody in the discord link down below and if you want guaranteed song quests and you want to check out all of our full album reactions like we just finished with savage gardens affirmation join everybody in the patreon also link down below and that's it so let's get into eurythmics here comes the rain again Okay, already, I th this is in minor, right? Because already this reminds me of, um, in some sense, um, Sweet Dreams. Like that, like, I think we've heard three Eurythmic songs. We've heard um, Sweet Dreams, and then we heard the, the kind of uh, Love is a Stranger. And I definitely, out of the three so far, I've preferred uh, Sweet Dreams. Like, I like that, like, dark, catchy atmosphere. Like, it... Because Annie does it so well in that song. So we'll see how this one is. But already I'm seeing more of like, I think it's because this is written in minor. That is giving me more similarities and vibe. Just like the interesting tone on the piano there. And then the like the electronic um, shimmering in the background. But let's go back to the beginning for you guys. And the video. Falling on my head like a memory Falling on my head like an 
All right, that that was a very cool song. I and again, this is what I love about your rhythmics and Annie Lennox is they're just such good artists. Like they're such good songwriters, like musicians all around the board. Like this song took me on a journey. Like obviously, you know, you know, whenever you watch me and my mouth is just kind of hanging open and I have this like devoid look on my face, I'm just like lost in the trance of a song. And this is what I've noticed about uh, Annie Lennox and your rhythmics. They're like obviously trance is a musical genre nowadays like you know rave and trance and all that but like i feel like your rhythmics might have been one of the first bands to kind of create that sonic template trance because like it actually does kind of put you in a trance i feel like sweet dreams did too like they just there's such a like yeah you just get lost in this one something about the imagery in the music video too just like the bleak landscapes and the it's just the ocean, like something about the just observing the ocean is so tranquil. And what was really interesting with this song, too, is there was kind of like two different distinct vibes, like the verse and the chorus had very different feelings to me. Um, you know, the the verses were brooding and questioning. And then the chorus was more um, uh, uplifting. It had more of that like open kind of feeling to it and it's just really interesting so i'm really excited actually i want to go right into these lyrics and figure out maybe sonically they were following the lyrics that there was a transition with the lyrics so david stewart okay dave stewart's actually a producer too 1984 man these guys were so ahead of their time um did they say anything about it i don't think so oh yes they did all right. What did the artist said about the song? Dave Stewart shared in the Dave Stewart songbook. I'd been out on 46th Street and bought an early Casio keyboard, about 20 inches long and very small keys. It was an overcast days, a day, and he was sitting in my room, and I was playing some little riff on the keyboard sitting on the window ledge. And I was playing these little melancholy, melancholy minorish chords. Yeah, very. Like, this one was dripping in atmosphere especially the verses and i loved the end how they started harmonizing the vocals because man the cool thing about this song is the verses actually were like a song within themselves like there's a there's an amazing melody in the verses it was almost i felt like this was almost two songs and the bridge kind of brought them a bit more together but still like i i feel like there's like the verse song and the chorus song they're almost like different um i kept on playing this riff and annie was looking out the window at the slate gray sky above the New York skyline just sang spontaneously. Here comes the rain again. Yeah, I, I love the way she sings that. And that was all we needed. You see, with a lot of our songs, you only need to start with that one line and that one atmosphere, that one note, and that intro melody. Annie's so good at finding melodies. And of course, that starts the whole song. And the whole song was, was about that undecided thing, like here comes depression. Or here comes the downward spiral. Then it goes to talk to me like lovers do. It's the wandering in and out. Oh, exactly. That's what I was picking up. I was like, it's the in and out of melancholy. It's like the the verses were like haunting and questioning. And the chorus was a bit more like, I, at first I was going to say vulnerable, but no, like, you know, questions are vulnerable. That that melancholy is vulnerable. But it's, it's, it's more of a uplifting vulnerability of okay i'm ready to kind of like help me through this you know what i mean the verses are the questions the undecided and then the chorus is the i'm allowing something to change this for me um but then it goes so talk to me like lovers do it's the wandering in and out of melancholy a dark beauty that sort of is like the rose that's when it's darkest unfolding and blood red just before the garden dies wow Man, he even talks with a, a level of poetry Dave does. They're very good together. I think they bring out that poetic sensibility. Um, and capturing that kind of oblique statements and sentiments. And the rest of it was like a puzzle where we just need to fill the missing pieces. So it's kind of a weird course. Yeah, it is really interesting. Um, what is the genre? The genre of Eurythmics usually falls into one of these three genres. Dance rock, new wave, and synth pop. Yeah, this was so cool. Wow. Yeah, let's see. Let's quickly just jump in the lyrics here for a second. Here comes the rain again. Yeah. Yeah, depression falling on my head like a memory. Falling on my head like a new emotion. I want to walk in the open wind. I want to talk like lovers do. I want to dive into your ocean. Is it raining with you? Yeah, I want to dive into this relationship. I want to dive into you. 
And are you feeling the pain I'm feeling? Are you feeling the questions? Are you feeling the depression that I'm feeling? So baby, talk to me like lovers do. Walk with me like lovers do. Talk to me like lovers do. Maybe it's about like, you know, she's going like one of the parties is going through depression and they're in a relationship and yeah, they don't quite know what's going on with the other person. Maybe the other person is a bit kind of distant emotionally and they're just asking like, you know, can we please kind of share this? Can we share love? Can we share emotion? Can we share pain? You know what I mean? Can we do this together? Can we live our lives together? Here comes the rain again, raining in my head like a tragedy. Great lyrics. Tearing me apart like a new emotion. I want to breathe in the open wind. I want to kiss like lovers do. I love how it's actually extremely simple. I think it just repeats essentially the exact same words, um, except a couple changes here and there. I want to... Oh, okay, never mind. I want to walk. I want to breathe. I want to kiss like lovers do. I want to... Oh, that's actually really cool. So minimal shifts in the verses. Just instead of like going on to a new verse and a new idea, it's almost like deepening the existing idea, the deepening the existing verse. Yeah, this song, this song is incredible. <laughs> wow. I just love the outro. I love fade outs. You guys know me. I love ad libs. I love just when singers lose themselves in the emotion and just get brought into the trance of the the re repetitious ending the repetitious melody and you just kind of go with it but yeah this was amazing so uh what were your thoughts on this one what are your favorite your rhythmic songs let me know down below and if none of the patrons choose anything i'll be coming to you guys for some song ideas and if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to help out with the youtube algorithm definitely leave a like and subscribe and lastly i want to give a big shout out to my tier three patrons so of course we got amber kelly scott Andy, Ayla, Charles, Laura, Mans, Matt, Melanie, Melissa, Merrick, Nora, Paul, Robbie, and Stuart. So shout out to all of you guys, and I'll see all of you guys again tomorrow. I love you. Peace.